Hey guys, uh, I'm Dewey. I'm the bear half of Fox and Bear, a photography team based out of North Wales. And we specialize in wedding and family photography. And today I wanted to go over the ultimate guide for arranging the best possible confetti photographs at a wedding. So I've been doing this for over 10 years now and I remember what it was like when I first started and how daunting and difficult it seemed to be to be able to capture like really good confetti photographs. And over the years I've sort of developed my sort of own way of being able to organise things on a wedding day to be able to provide the two things really the best possible experience for our couples and also again the best photographs. So the first thing is that it's really important for me that the couple feel like there isn't really an interruption to the day, that the day flows really well because you know at the end of the day it's it's not my wedding day. It, I'm not there to capture photographs for um, for the sake of it, I'm there to be able to capture the day. And confetti kind of straddles this, uh, this line of something which happens on a wedding day specifically for the couple and for the guests, but also as, you know, as an excuse for the photograph, because it can be really, really awesome. It can be some of the best photos of the day. For me, it's one of the most uh, exciting uh, parts of the day and something which I know I'm able to deliver time and time again. So, like I say, I've created this, uh, like I say, this, this, this flow, which I think works really well. The way I do this, I'm going to go under the, the basis that the couple are getting married in perhaps a building uh, on its own or detached, something like a church or a barn, which is pretty common around here. And um, there's a few different tweaks which would I would make depending on, um, on depending on location, but for the most part this works for like 99% of the time. Okay, so the couple get married, everyone claps, they walk down the aisle. At that point, I'll always tell them, and this is something which I go over before the day, I think that's incredibly important, so that I'm not springing anything on them on the wedding day. So everyone claps, they walk out, and at that moment, I will tell them to take themselves away. Perhaps uh, if there's a room, say if it's church, perhaps there's a room at the end of it, or if it is a all-in-one location, perhaps they can go into a different room, or um, a hallway, or somewhere, just anywhere which is away, or perhaps around the back of the building. Just basically, just tell them to come out, go away, and enjoy that time. You know, it's it's really important. Like wedding days go fast, and to be able to have that that moment together immediately after uh, after they get married, it's so special. Uh, it, like it is the most important part of the wedding day is the getting married, and to be able to have that time together, like I say, it is just so special and so important. So if they take themselves away, what that allows is everyone to come out. The alternative is if they don't, something I've seen so often, long before I was able to figure out how to sort of work this, is if they come out and stand at the entrance, um, then it can often bottleneck. Uh, it will stop folk from being able to leave the church or the barn of the building, whatever. You know, they will be sort of stuck in there whilst waiting for everyone to, you know, say hi, meet and greet, smile, hug, all the good stuff. And yeah, that's that's fine, but it's it's not the most ideal circumstance. So like I say, if, if a couple go away, what that allows is for myself, their venue staff, the bridal party, we can get everyone out. And one thing I like to do at that point is so once everyone comes out, I like to organize them into a tunnel. I'll put people left and right, either side, and then hand out all the confetti to everyone. Get everyone ready, get everyone in place. At that point, I will bring the couple back in. They walk through, everyone cheers, everyone throws confetti. I walk backwards, hopefully I don't trip over anything. And like I say, it can create some of the most amazing photographs. And it's at that moment where I will then step back, I will leave them to the afternoon, leave them to the drinks reception. Again, it's a really important part of the day. They've barely seen anyone, and I don't want to be then going straight into any more photographs, any formal photographs. I don't want to be taking them away or anything like that. I want them to be able to enjoy this moment and then 
get into seeing their guests, seeing their friends, their family. So for 99% of the time, this works fantastically. It is easily the best and the easiest method to be able to capture awesome confetti photos without sort of changing anything drastically about the day, without throwing it in there like an afterthought. And like I say, one of the major things is that like it gives the couple time, it gives them that moment together and allows confetti to be this this event which happens with the guests as opposed to just happens because it makes for a nice photo. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any queries, questions or anything, please just comment down below. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.